The time capsule is more than 120 years old, and it's unlocking the rich history of the First Presbyterian Church and Bay City. I've been a member of this church my whole life. Uh, I was baptized here, I got married here, and to see this historic moment while I'm standing here, because this is 121 years old, you know, who knows if they'd wait another 50 years, I might not be here to see it. Wade Lodwick is eager to crack open the lead box entombed behind the church's cornerstone. Most of it was just old hammer and chisel they used, knew what they were doing, and if you looked at it, they did not hurt the integrity of the church at all. Before today, church members had only speculated what could be in the box. Judge Albert Miller, we believe, wrote a paper which is in that time capsule. And sure enough. This is from the reminiscences of early days uh, by Judge Albert Miller. The 1800s document written by one of Bay City's earliest pioneers recalls the early days of Bay City and the church. 1856. In the, shape of, in the shape of a church of eight members. Judge Miller's document is one of dozens now under the church's roof for the first time in more than a century. Just me being part of the church so long is very exciting to be part of this. One of the first suggestions for the new time capsule going in is taking digital copies of what they found in this one for the next 100 years. In Bay City, Josh Marshall, NBC 25 News.